Okay, okay, enough. I know you're not sleeping. Get up. Okay, okay, you can, you can stay in bed. What's happened? No, I was actually supposed to be at a, a work meal thing. You know, and these things I always moan about, we have to kind of go out and... They call it the word schmoozing. We have to mingle with our clients and network and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I had one of these meals tonight. And, yeah, she called me and said you weren't... You weren't doing so well. Mm -hmm. Well, I have good news. Because I come bearing gifts. Obviously. Two large pizzas. What kind did you want? If you could pick any pizza... Of course that's what I ordered. <laughs> and... Warm cookies. I also brought the Switch, by the way. I don't know, maybe we can have a game later on. I don't know. Of course I brought Mario Kart. <laughs> no, I, I've played a little bit, but not that much. See, you're smiling already. That wasn't so difficult. I don't care if you never played. It's fine. It makes a cool sound, right? Yeah. Wait, before we get into the into anything. Let's get a slice of pizza. Stop apologizing. It's fine. Uh, no, I just said to my boss that um, personal situations came up and he was very understanding and said, don't worry. You know, we, we have these things all the time. And I go to every one of them. I'm the only one that does, so I'm allowed to miss one. I'm the only one that ever goes to all of these things. There you go. Pizza for you. Uh, pizza for me. <laughs> mm. No pizza taste. Quite like Domino's, right? Hmm. You know I got the meat feast. Actually, it's not even a meat feast. Double meatballs, spicy meatballs, sausage, and tandoori chicken. Tandoori is that Indian spice you get. Mm. It's lovely. Mm. Don't worry, I don't need any money. It's okay. Do you know what your problem is? You're too nice. I know you. Carry on. She explained a little bit about what happened and said you were going through some things. I know. I heard. Do you know the only frustrating thing about being your friend? And I've been your friend a long time. And I'd like to think I know you better than most people do. You always had the lowest opinion of yourself. I never understood why, because I come to your house with pizza, cookies, the Switch, Mario Kart, and instead of feeling happy and enthused, you feel guilty, like you're inconveniencing me, or almost like you're not worthy of such a little gesture. It's not like I flew for a thousand miles and, you know, 
swam for 400 miles and ran for 26, I just cancelled my reservations, picked up some pizzas and came over. I'm still wearing the shirt, I might add. I guarantee if I spilled pizza down this, I'd be so angry. <laughs> but yeah, you, you, you won't let yourself... Your brain was always your biggest enemy. Everything in life that's happened to you, and I know that you've been through more than you ought to have been. And that's not lost on me. I know that. And sometimes I feel guilty for... My life's always been pretty, pretty straight sailing, you know? And I've always been behind you and had to bear witness to some of the things you've had to endure. And I'll be honest with you, they would have broken me. I would have broken almost anyone. But when I first walked in your door, the little smile on your face, before it was allowed to be replaced by the guilt that your brain thinks you should feel, even though you shouldn't. That little smile, that makes it worth it. Plus, I don't have to make small talk with a bunch of people that I don't really have anything to say to. You know what I'm like. All I want to do is game and eat terrible food. And talk about statistics and projections and forecasting. And So I'm grateful. I'm glad that you're not feeling so great. <laughs> See, look at me. I'm a terrible person. I take joy in your misery. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, as I said, she explained a little bit about it, but... What did she say when... Uh -huh. Ouch. And what did you say back? Did you argue? You always take everything lying down. Do you know why you take these things lying down? Because you don't want to cause a fuss. You don't want to be the one that makes waves. There's no drama where you're concerned. Even when you're perfectly entitled to be upset and to take issue with something. You take it quietly and but then you take it home with you, you come back to your bedroom and you let it manifest and you think about it and you think that you deserve this or that it's expected because of the way your brain's wired. <laughs> Honestly, you are your own worst enemy. I wish from the bottom of my heart that you could see yourself through my eyes just for a moment. Even your brain would struggle to make a case against that because I see you for what you are and who you are. A lovely person. My favorite person. I think I might skip straight to a cookie. I don't know, I just, I feel... You know when you get those kind of somber moods where you're just like... Yeah. Did I ever tell you about that girl that I was going to say I dated her but I was with her for like a year and I swear to God the entire year I spent trying to keep her happy trying to make sure that she had nothing to be upset about nothing to and I felt like it was my duty to placate her and in some sense it's like you know dealing with a child I just kept giving her what she wanted because if I didn't she would just create drama and be upset <laughs> remember I, I went on holiday with her and man it was a disaster I, 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 I kid you not everything you could take issue with every little thing it, she wasn't she was never happy Nothing was right. 
I put on these white trainers, these white kind of sneaker things to to go for dinner the first night. I thought I looked quite cool. I had like a nice t-shirt, jeans. And we weren't going to like a fancy place. We were just literally going to like the buffet. And I thought this was okay. And she kicked up such a fuss. You know. I just wanted to be happy. I just wanted to relax and chill out. And, you know, I wear a suit and whatever. All day at work. But I got changed. Put on the whole, the whole tux thing. And I felt like an idiot. I was the only one dressed up in this entire thing. Well, me and her. You know, I just... I don't know. I think there's a lot to be said for just being comfortable. Relationships are a funny thing. You know, I can't even name that many people that I know that are actually happy in them. Truly happy, I mean. I mean my parents are maybe one of two or three couples that I know that are really happy. And I think that, you know, these... I don't want to call them disruptive relationships or dysfunctional, but my parents were always so happy. And even to this day, 31 years on this planet, I've never seen my parents have an argument. Never. And I guess that I'm a product of that, you know? So I'm not really prepared for... Exactly the same as you are. When you're in a relationship, you want to make that person happy. But for that to work, it has to be reciprocated. And you deserve for it to be reciprocated. Regardless of what your brain tells you. I know you keep finding yourself in these relationships that... Make you feel like you're worth... Well, less than nothing. And I know you literally have the worst taste in partners than probably on the entire planet. <laughs> no matter what he says or what she says, when it's all said and done, and I don't want to be harsh, I don't want to upset you, I know that it hasn't been easy. Especially when you started work. And you were finding yourself under all these new pressures and responsibilities and then you were coming home and you were getting it there too. I know that that didn't work out and yeah. On the bright side, we do have pizza. Listen, I can't undo any of that I can't take that away and I can't really change what your brain is currently torturing you for but what I can do I can tell you how much you mean to me I've been friends with you for a very long time and although my life has been pretty straight laced and Right down the middle, there were times when I was wobbled. There was a time when my... <laughs> How did you know I was going to say that? So you know me, you know me through and through. You know every fibre of me like I know every fibre of you. And it kills me to see you punish yourself for something you've never done. And I can't imagine what it would be like to live just a day in your head. I imagine it's quite noisy. It's quite intense and can be quite a lonely place to be sometimes, but you're not alone tonight. And while you're feeling like this, I can come back every night. I'll sleep on the couch if needs be. I don't mind. And I want you to know that you're not alone. No matter how much life throws at you, I'll be there to throw it right back for you. I'll catch what I can too, although I'm, yeah, I'm like a newborn baby foal. <laughs> I don't have much coordination. 
I'll take you on my face. Like, I'll catch you on my face and my body. Don't worry. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Even if it is at the expense of me getting hit in the face by some of your troubles. Hey, listen. The Switch. No, I was playing a bit of it earlier. It's amazing. Mario Kart 8 online is just... The only thing with playing it online... I thought I was the man. I mean, I am the man. But I thought I was like God. I thought I was really good. And then I went online and got smashed. Yeah, that wasn't cool. You want a cookie? Yeah. Okay, I just tried opening it from the wrong end. You can be the brains. I can be the looks. Still warm. Look at mine. I'm gonna use the box because I will definitely spill. Hmm. Why are they always so good? They always find a way to make them just taste like warm cookie dough. Like they haven't really cooked them even though they have. Magics. Don't worry about my work. I'm in no position to complain about a situation that only I can change. Some people moan about their job every day. They come home and talk to whoever it is that's asking the question. They say, oh, I hate my job. I well, well, you can change it, you know? Complaining about something over and over and over is a pointless and fruitless exercise. A little bit of tough love for you. But if you're not unhappy enough to change a working situation, Don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean to say that that person doesn't need help and doesn't need somebody to listen to. But sometimes we have to be the, the maker of our own future, you know? Take control and responsibility of what we can control and change it. I mean, they're probably going to give me diabetes, but these cookies, bro. Mm. They're lovely. So apart from the disaster today, I'll tell you what, forget that. I want you to answer a question. Do I have chocolate on my teeth? No. I want you to answer a question for me. And you have to look into my eyes. No, I'm, I'm really serious. Wait. It's called eye gazing, okay? I want you to take a deep breath, okay? Loosen up, relax. Keep a straight face, this is serious. I read this in a magazine. Okay. Now, stare into my eyes and know that no matter how you feel on the inside, the person looking back at you offers no judgment, okay? into my eyes, use your ears and hear me. You are the best person. You are an amazing human being. You are kind even when you don't feel kind in the inside. You're thoughtful. You're selfless. 
And yes, there are times when you've caused a drama or two yourself. But you've always had the best intentions. And I know, looking into my eyes, you can see that everything I say to you is the truth. You are not. I repeat, you are not the person your brain sometimes tells you that you are. You have so much potential. I can see it in your eyes. And so can the world. You've had an incredibly rough couple of days, but it will end. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next week. It will not last forever. The only thing how badly I'm going to kick your ass on Mario Kart. <laughs> Relax. I'm not going anywhere. I said I'll sleep on the couch and maybe tomorrow you wake up and the intensity of your brain has relented a little bit. Alright. Good. Let's play some Mario Kart.